Well, this is something pretty common, right? You walk into the wine store, you simply pick up a bottle of red, you pay, and you walk out, right? Well, our shopping experience is about to make a huge leap into the future with talking labels. And no, not just for me drinking too much of the wine. Tim Irwin is about to explain what the new technology that became popular with the Pokemon Go craze has to do now with our wine purchases. Tim, when I say a big leap into the future, I really mean it, right? Yeah, Tina, we're super excited to be launching the first ever talking wine label. And I think the great part is it's fun, it's interactive, and it's simple to use. So, Tina, maybe we should go through it, how it works because it is, it is kind of the future here today. So, what you do is you go to Google Play or iTunes, you download the app, you follow the prompts. And it's very simple here. All you do is hold, the, hold your phone over the label. There's a rogue sustains when the bars of man impede. And you can see that it starts a talking to you. So what's great about this is, is 19 Crimes is, is based off authentic that, true stories. So be. in this instance here, we've got John O'Reilly, who was uh, fighting political oppression and was sentenced to mutiny. And it was either losing his life or going to Australia for 20 years. So it's also culture and history and the foundation of Australia. And it, that's just pretty cool. <laughs> so, and it's yeah. it's augmented reality, right? Is that is that what we're calling it? And I have my bottle here, so this little guy is going to tell me a little bit about the wine. Yeah. So, not to be confused, virtual reality is basically putting on goggles, and that's changing. Augmented reality is about changing what's in front of you. So, you know, Pokemon Go that we, we, we've kind of known about for a few years. So, it's really altering the the state of. Um, and how you, how you bring it to life. So, you know, each convict has a different story that they want to tell. And that, like I said, they're, they're real stories. It's, it's kind of taking convicts to colonists. So, uh, yeah, that's what augmented reality is. And you know, it's pretty exciting. It is pretty exciting. And on top of it just being cool, uh, and like you said, we're going to be able to learn a little bit. What else can we gain? I mean, obviously, I know that this wine is awesome. Yeah, you know, the shopper experience is continually changing. You know, you've got online shopping in the aisle, and I think people really want to know what they're consuming, you know, what's in the product, and this brings it to life. We know that, you know, everyone's somewhat connected to a smartphone these days, and you know, that's our source of information. So naturally, it's easy to transition there and uh, kind of learn more about it. And it's, it, as, you, as you saw, it's a very simple process, and you know, not just in store, but think about, you know, going to a dinner party with family and friends at home, showing your, your partner or what have you. It's, it's so engaging, it's so fun. Like watching someone's reaction on this is, is, is really enjoyable. It's, it's, it's half the enjoyment. Oh, you will definitely be the hit at any party if you break out uh, this and show them that your bottle of wine has a talking label on it. And now this is 19 Crimes uh, wine. This is the type of wine that this app is going to work with, right? Yeah, so it's, it, we have seven different wines uh, that this kind of works on. So, you know, as I mentioned, each convict has a, a different story. So you know, the, the foundation for 19 Crimes is that story and the history of Australia. You know, as an Australian, I'm very proud, and this, is, this was our foundation. So uh, it, it works across all our wines. As I mentioned, we've, we're slowly introducing no, new wines. We've just launched a hard Chardonnay that tells you the first of our female convict, Jane Fleming, and, and her story. So, uh, you know, a great way to bring these real stories to life. Well, they always say there's an app for everything. There really is an app for everything now. So we will make sure, like you said, go to our uh, you know, Google Play and, and our app store and make sure that we get that app and then do this. It's going to be pretty cool to show off to everyone. Tim, this is something pretty awesome. I can't wait to try it out. Thank you so much for telling us about it. Thanks, Tina. Have fun. I will. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.